Um, and because today is Monday and I have a little bit of time to play, I've already set my eyes and done my eyebrows. Um, I am going to play in the metal matte palette again from Kat Von D. And I'm actually gonna start off by taking um, the bone color and using it as my all over set powder again. Um, and I did lay down my Kat Von D high voltage eye primer, which to me is kind of like a concealer, as I've said before in previous videos. Um, I just like the way it um, kind of conceals my eyes and I'm able to kind of start with a clean slate, as they say. So yeah, just gonna finish laying down this bone color and I'll be right back. Next color I'm gonna go in with is suede. Um, and I'm going to actually start it up a little bit higher than normal because I just kind of want to fill in right here on top of the bone. Which, that, that, that made it so, so smooth. So if you've been kind of like struggling, I would say, you know, come up with a method. You could kind of tell, like, I don't know if you guys can tell on video, but like the, that eyeshadow laying it down on top of that, um, eyeshadow primer um just made everything really smooth so that just really helps with the blending to me so yeah i'm just gonna finish doing this from side to side and blend out the next color i'm gonna go in with is silk it's like a dusty rosy type pink yeah and i just wanted to play with it so that's what i'm doing i'm just gonna play with it and i have no idea what i'm gonna do after that we'll see um i'm really enjoying this palette so if you are not afraid of color and uh yeah this is a real i don't know people are saying they have an issue with it um i haven't experienced that like i said everything just seems to go on uh, really really smooth for my unexpert eyes <laughs> Um, then yeah, I just liked how, I just like how everything just blends into each other. So, I don't know, try some different methods. Um, figure out what works best for you. I just figured out the other day that doing this and then laying down um, the eyeshadow base from the palette that you're going to use works really well. If you, you know, it's just a way to set it with the powder before you start with your eye look. So, I don't know. I'm going to deepen just this crease a little bit and I'm going to take the color um, Velvet because I think I'm going to use Twinkle and Volt as the other shades. Let's just see what we can come up with here. Yes, that's pretty. I'm just keeping it concentrated to this little outer little V area. Extend it out. This color is so pretty, y'all. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> the next shade I'm gonna lay down is gonna be Volt. And I'm gonna place it right there. I am going to whip my brush just to intensify this one just a little bit more. Really pretty color though. So yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of inner corner with the twinkle like I did yesterday. Just to kind of, but yeah, I really like this look. Kind of, in the color that, uh, velvet color that's right here, I'm just taking it a little bit in. I'm not taking it all the way in. I'm just making sure this is blended well and no harsh lines. 
So I did take a little bit of twinkle on the other side and uh, I took it in a little bit onto the lid itself. And then I took a fluffy brush and just kind of went and blended, make sure I'm blending that twinkle into the other shade that I laid down. Making sure that it looks like those are meeting. Alrighty, we're gonna pick up a little bit more of um, silk. And I'm just gonna sweep it across here to make sure that all of that is kind of blending well. Just straight across. It's pretty. So I went ahead and pulled a little bit of the velvet around onto the outer uh, lower lash line. And I'll clean it up. Um, I'll make it more precise when I, uh, I just want to go ahead and get it swung around from the V. So I just kind of took it straight under here and with that same brush we've been using to apply it. And then I'll just clean it up on the next turn. Make sure all of it. Guys, now I do my eye line off camera, but I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D tattoo liner. And uh, try to show you guys just the ease of this uh, product. There you have it. Um, I'm actually gonna try this linen <laughs> as a um, I just wanna see what it's gonna do. As a brow bone highlight. I'm not picking up much product, trust me. Now what I may do is uh, go on, Ooh. okay. No, that's fine. I was gonna say I was gonna go on top with a little bit of uh, glitz, but I think I'm gonna leave the white. I think I am, I think I am, Sam. I'm gonna blend this out, don't worry. I just wanted to kinda see what it would do. Kind of ties in with the inner corner just a little bit and for no specific reason only because i'm using her products today why not use the foundation as well so i'm gonna apply it brush it on like so don't need a lot just playing today have a light work day so yeah, pick up my real technique sponge. You guys know I've been loving the way this has been applying foundation. Look. See? Love it. Blend it all over. And me shall be right back. Gonna keep the theme rolling and go in with... Uh, her concealer. I think I want a little more of a highlight up under there, so I will put a little bit of the white just at the top. Mm. Under my eye. I be wanting it to be just a little more highlighted than this shade gives me. And I'm in, uh, this color is D33 Warm. I could stand and go just maybe a shade lighter, but I have the uh, white out, and I'll just use it to kind of lighten 
out the concealer for me. Okay, YouTube, this is the um, final look. Um, I love the way it all turned out. I am wearing, of course, um, the shade by Kat Von D on my lips. Um, for my blush today, I had a little fun. Um, I really do like this color. It is Bittersweet by Urban Decay. Um, it is like a, almost like the, it's all in the same family. So that's what I blushed up with on my cheeks today. Um, I'm still loving the, I'm, I don't know. You guys may see this uh, palette every day this week. Um, so the colors that I used today, I think I went through them. Bone, Suede, Velvet, Volt, and Twinkle are the colors that I used today. Oh, I think I used a little bit of silk too. Yeah, I used the silk for the... Um, pick up a little bit of it and just go on top of it right quick. Yeah. So I used a little bit of silk today as well, just to kind of, that was more like my um, transition shade. So I just, I just put a little bit in there just to, I don't know, I was kind of like to go over everything at the end just to make sure it's all well blended. And I used linen, this white color, as my brow bone highlight today. Um, not a lot, just kind of dipped my brush in it just a little bit. Um, and went there <laughs> so this is the final look uh i'm trying to think make sure i told you guys everything i use kevin d foundation i used her powder to set down here in this area where i didn't use the um i used the Kat Von d setting powder and the Kat Von d concealer um for underneath so it's just really a lot of Kat Von d today mascara i used the roller lash from benefits um you guys look at that Look at the eyelash. This mascara did that. <laughs> this mascara. Okay. So, um, I think that is it. Under, I just went in with uh, a little bit of velvet. And uh, I think that's... Oh, I did run just a little bit of oak up under the velvet. But that's it. So, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Hope you guys in, are enjoying these cute, sweet... Um, I think they're cute and sweet. Uh, quick eye looks. Um, I'm going to probably film another one tomorrow. Bye, YouTube.